but a very abstracted inter interest in it. I try it. The sun can burn your skin. The tide can drag you in. Hi, I'm Danielle Villafana with Second Look TV. I'm here with Mr. Mark Ingram. What do you think of the collection? I thought it was a stunning debut collection by Joko Yoshoka. I'm very proud. I carry her, her, her bridal collection in my store in New York City, and I'm very happy to see her branch out into something different and exciting as this. Danielle Villafano from Second Look TV, and I'm here with Claire from America's Next Top Model. How are you today? I'm very good, thank you. I'm so happy to be done with my shows for today and get to go to sleep. So what was it like being in Junko show? It was amazing. Her, sh her gowns just make you feel like such a proper, glamorous movie star from the 20s. It's such a fun thing to do. What did you like about the dress that you wore? I love that it was so frilly with a long train, you know, like a real princess bridal gown. I got married in kind of like a slinky, glamorous dress, so I didn't have like that princess look. We all want that. Yeah, we all want that from a child, so it kind of almost makes you feel like a child again. Yeah, I do. And the wind can howl and blow your house down. The sun can burn your skin. Tell me, what's your favorite part of the design process? The part where you want to create your feeling and your collection, where you come up with the idea for the whole show and the collection and then build it from that. Now are you more of a hands-on COO or are you just kind of like stand back and watch everything happen? Feet up in the air the whole time. No, not at, not at all. Um, very hands-on. You know, we're a small company, we're a growing business, so I kind of get my um, fingers in a lot of different pots, which is just the way I like it. So from soup to nuts. When David Gomez, CEO of Junko, came into our uh, boutique to show us the sketches of the collection, at that point they, they were just on paper and they were going from bridal to ready to wear and we were actually blown away by the pieces and decided to partner up with them for the show and we figured that our jewelry would just really fit well with the designs and make the designs pop and be a great compliment for us. And all of her inspiration comes from her travels, the architecture of the city, and just different cultures, different you know languages. She travels a lot, so it's great. I mean, it's it's a great combination for us. So we're very excited about it. The fact that the silhouettes were just so slim and so, you know, old school Hollywood, that's what it reminded me of. It was like old school Hollywood glamour and the details were just impeccable, so feminine and just so, 
elegant and they just float it, you know? It's fabulous. I thought the line was great. It was her first evening wear collection and I thought it went fabulously. Um, I especially loved the way that Junko always drapes her dresses and the structure with the corsets and the flow at the bottom. She always does a great job with that. So which one was your favorite? Which one would you like to take home? Uh, the black one, the second to last with the soft sequins and the print and that sporty and pleating. I love that one and it drapes across. Really good touch. I love it. So what kind of woman do you design for? Uh, for kind of independent and they know how they look is beautiful and how uh, they are strong enough to be women. <laughs> Junko Yoshioka, I'm watching the second look TV.